All right, seven days have passed, which gives you another solo overnighter in the woods. We're looking at a high of 75, low of 55, and we're mid-May right now. Now, today's gonna be a lot different. I'm gonna answer a question, and it's not a negative question. I've got a lot of questions on my shelters. Well, what happens to them when you leave? Do you tear them down? Do you repurpose wood? Do you rent them out as Airbnbs? Well, you're in luck today. We're gonna to go to our previous campsite and we're gonna repurpose that wood and turn that shelter into something outstanding. Stick around. Okay, so here we are. The scene of the crime, our previous campsite. If you haven't seen this video, you're not alone. It was titled, Solo Overnight Building a Raised Shelter with Pivoting Doors in the Woods. Kind of like Karate Kid, the crane technique. Notifications did not go out on time. They went out anywhere from six to 12 hours late. By that time, you were asleep. When you woke up, it was not in your feed. It was already ripped out and was gone and they moved on. Okay, so the video went like this. If you haven't seen it, check that bad boy out. It was outstanding. Why? Because I made it. Okay, so I wanna combine a few videos and most of all, I want this shelter to be successful. So here's what I'm thinking. This cross member right here on my frame, I wanna drop it down below my tarp, or at least equal with the bottom of my tarp. So in case I wanna wrap it, I have that option. So we're gonna cut these off, bring them down on both sides, and then go from there. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Nice. So the one thing we didn't do last time was we didn't rack this. And that prevents this side-to-side -side motion, like Mr. Miyagi, side-side. So all we're gonna do here is use a running bowline on this corner, go around that corner, and then crank it down using a rope tackle or trucker's hitch. Passing that through makes it a running bullion. So by doing that X pattern, there's very little racking now. There we go. Okay, so someone's asking themselves, what's he doing? There's already a horizontal there. All I do is make one longer. And here's the method to this madness right here. 
and the previous shelter, all the weight was on the legs right here, okay? We won't have any legs. We're gonna be suspended in the air. And I don't want that frame to rock or tweak on me, side to side or back and forth. So all I did was go with a longer pole. I'm gonna diagonal lash it to the diagonal on my bipod as well as the horizontal on my bipod. And then we'll go ahead and tie off the front. the wooden hammock in the woods. Okay, now a lot of people are afraid when they say something like, those logs are gonna flip, you'll fall on the ground. I've never had logs flip, but there's a couple things you can do. One is run two more towards the center. That way we have equal weight distribution all the way across here. And no matter where you put your body weight at, they're never gonna flip. Or option two, tie every single one of these down. And I'm not gonna go that route. So I'm thinking invent an option three. Why not lay one on top here and lash it down here, two here, and one here. And that sort of will sandwich those logs together and it's never gonna flip. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop.
Okay, so here's the method to this madness right here. We're elevated. Everything's sloping down towards that fire. Now, normally I'd say something like, well, an elevated shelter deserves an elevated fire. And most of the time, if we're on a flat ground, I'd say yes to that. However, think about how a fire works. The heat goes this way and up at the same time. So it makes sense to be higher over here with my shelter, lower over here with my fire. That heat's going to come across and go up underneath that shelter, keeping me warm all night. Now, the opposite end of that spectrum, everything rolls downhill. So I went ahead and dug a trench fire with a ring around it, simply to keep the coals and logs from rolling downhill. Now, somebody's going to say, well, if it rains, it's going to fill full of water. Well, here's my comment or my response. If it rains that bad, we're talking buckets of water, any exposed fire is going to go out anyways. All right, check this out. The one thing I'm guilty of, well, besides being really, 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 really good looking, hashtag blue steel, is water collection. In my opinion, most YouTubers are. So I have my bucket. I'm in route to one of three ponds. I'm going to collect some water. On the way up there, I want to look around for some materials. Moss, rocks, charcoal from burnt logs, and maybe some sand. And get back and improvise some type of water filtration system. Now this beaver pond we're going to, the water looks like crap, tastes like crap, and it smells like crap. Improvising some type of filtration system will not only get rid of the particulates, but help out with the color and smell as well. Take the middle pole and I'm going to spin it around until it tightens up. I'm going to pull it tight.
Well, look at that. Plenty of time. You guys are getting your money's worth on this one. All right, check this out. Now, we went ahead and built our wooden hammock in the woods. Our fire pit's complete. We collected water, we scouted an area, and we built an improvised water filter using a tripod. Now, I'm thinking we go back to that pond over there. While I was there, I looked down and I saw a small fish. If they're small fish or baby fish, there are mommy and daddy fish. So, I'm not set up for fishing right now, but we can improvise. I have bank line, I have paracord, there's plenty of sticks and poles in the forest, and I'm willing to bet you I got one or two small hooks in the bottom of that pack. Bet money on it. Okay, so making our do-it-yourself fishing pole is extremely easy. All we're doing is we're looking for a straight stick, roughly six to eight feet in length, with a diameter at the base, about a half inch. At the top, no less than a quarter inch. We want it to be green and flexible, okay? From here, we're gonna beef up our handle area. Taking number 36 bank line, we're gonna wrap it like a whipping for a rope and just beef that handle up so there's something to hold on to when we set that hook, okay? At the top, I'm gonna tie another whipping, but I'm gonna leave that loop longer for a loop-to-loop -loop connection for fishing line, inner strands of paracord, or even bank line. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna make a bite in our cordage. I'm gonna lay it down right there. Where I want my handle to end, I'm gonna mark it. Then I'm simply gonna wrap around that line, pulling it tight all the way to the end of this loop right here. Okay, at the top of our pole, we're gonna whip it the exact same way. But instead of having one bite, we're gonna have two. Okay, so taking our double bites, we're gonna push them together. And we want our short end facing the handle of our pole. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna start off wrapping it just like we would from the tip towards the base. Now instead of pulling the short end, we're gonna pull a loop, making that loop longer. Choose paracord, simply cut it to the length that you desire, minimum the length of that pole, and take out the inner strands. Fish on, baby. Come on. Come on. Just like that.
campfire cooked ribeye and bacon wrapped corn. Mm. Let's feel that protein flowing through my veins. Oh man. Enough of that. Now the real business, my subs, my usual thank you. Thank you to all my subs, all my new subs, all my old subs. I appreciate and love every single one of you, and I mean that. Thank you for everything you've done for me. YouTube is playing its usual games, and this is gonna be week number three. And I'm willing to bet you they dial this video down, and I'm gonna get probably half my views. But I've noticed tons of shared videos. So you guys are coming through for me, and I really appreciate that. I ask that you just keep doing what you're doing. Watch my videos all the way to the end. Share them with everyone, everywhere. Show YouTube in the world that you want Corporal's Corner. And let's get to that million. And I'm going to keep giving you Corporal's Corner. I love you guys and I appreciate you. I really mean that. Thank you. And there we go. Corporal's wooden hammock in the woods. And yes, I can feel that heat going right through here. It's almost unbearable. Now, during the winter time, this probably would have been outstanding. Would have been like Corporal's artistry inside here all night. Loving it, baby. So I can drop that lid down and then just go to sleep. But there's no rain in the forecast, so I'm going to leave it open and just enjoy my view. Catch you all in the morning. Long drop for an overnighter. Oh man, this up a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. Told you guys, I'll let you know when I got this woodland camo. Swagman roll. It actually seems like it's thicker too, so I don't know. Love it though. Oh man. Now we can start. Okay, let's talk about this shelter. What did we do here? Well, we simply combined two or three different videos into something outstanding. We took a classic old school raised bed and suspended it and create a suspended platform, a wooden hammock in the woods. We utilized a trucker's hitch rope tackle and then added that pivoting aspect from our framed shelter. From there, we built a tripod and made a do-it-yourself water filtration system. And lastly, we finished off with a do-it-yourself fishing pole and it worked out pretty well. I'm happy. Just uh, another twist on old school bushcraft ideas. And there you go, solo overnight building a wooden hammock in the woods. Now, like I mentioned before, just a new twist on old school ideas. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. 
Now, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, and then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. As always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. Whoa, still here. Okay, check this out. I'm on a second YouTube channel. Now, I don't want to have any confusion. I'm always going to post every single week right here at Corpus Corner. But those that follow my channel religiously know that for about 10 years, I did nothing but straight skills videos. So, Self-Reliance Outfitters has a YouTube page. Self-Reliance Outfitters on YouTube. I'm there. I drop videos twice a month on quick tips, anywhere from two to four minutes in length. Hardcore bushcraft skills. Check me out at Self-Reliance Outfitters on YouTube. Stop by, subscribe, tell them I sent you.